Hello, I got a package today in the mail, and it is from Jamco, and you can reach them at jamco.com. This is the power supply upgrade for my Replicator 2. This will allow me to run the heated bed plate. It will actually take it from a 6.2, 6 6.25 amps to, I believe, a 9.2 amp, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get rid of this. So here it is. Part number GS220A24-R7B. This is again for the Replicator 2, not the 2X. I understand there may be a difference on the 2X. What it comes with is the main well power supply. 24 volts, 9.2 amps, 221 watt max. And oh, that's pretty much it. So you want to hang on to your plug from your original power supply, or you probably have a few of these laying around if you're like me. I got a box of them upstairs. So let's pull this out. Let's take a look and do a comparison real quick. What do we have difference between this one and the stock one? Well, your first difference you notice is the size. Huge difference. Things you want to confirm are the pinouts on the voltage. Make sure they are correct. Make sure you got the right one. Uh, this one shows This one actually shows pin 1 and 4 here as your positive rails and your other two is ground. If you look over here, this is actually showing the flat up so I'm going to turn this this way. This is the same thing. You got 1 and 4. 1 and 4 is your positive rails and 2 and 3 is your negative. Ground or common, whatever you prefer. So this should be a perfect match. And of course, we want to make sure we have the right ends. So the one it came with comes with a male end. And this is where the 2X differs. The 2X actually may be a female end on your board. They, apparently, they make Rev H boards in both ways. Um, of course, if you have a 2X, there's no need to add a heat bed plate to it. You already have a sufficient power supply. You already have one that's running 9.2 amps. I chose to go with an external power supply like this the same company that makes the current one for the 2X because I don't want to take a chance of rewiring anything on my board or smoking anything. So if I look at the new plug, it is the same. Now there was a slight difference I did notice here. Let me see if I can pull this up. Physically, everything's the same, which is great. But the new Meanwell power supply actually has an interlocking system. When it plugs in to your board, you have to slide this back to release it, which prevents the machine from accidentally getting unplugged, uh, I guess, if somebody trips on the cord. The stock power supply, the 6.25 one that came with the Replicator 2, does not have this mechanism. It does not slide, but, but the new one does. And I don't recall if my 2X had that or not, to tell you the truth. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Let's test our new power supply and make sure it's working. We'll set the old one aside. We'll grab this plug here. This is where we have it. I'll plug it in. And what you get is a nice little blue LED indicating we have power. Great. So that's a good start. Uh, so both of them have blue LEDs. And I'm not too concerned about this board as far as grounding out myself or anything because this board is being replaced. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And we'll use the desk here to hold the cable in place. Okay. So we're plugged in, throw the switch on, music to my ears. We have the 5 volt rail, we have the 24 volt rail, both of them are lit up here. And again this is the Rev-H, let's see if I can actually get this video facing the right direction even though I'm upside down, there you go. Ignore the past, this is now a fail board. <laughs> It's destined for the trash. Hit the reset button. And music to my ears again. Hit the reset button. Okay, so that's all, pretty much all the testing I can do for this power supply. Power supply works, we're good. Let's wait until we get the new board in. Hopefully the new board will be here in a day or two. And I can slap it all back in together with the new power supply and at least get it prepped and ready for when I do receive the heat bed from Bottleworks. Uh, at least I know I'm running the proper power 
and I'm running a safe block, safe unit. And if I'm not mistaken, Meanwhile, I think gives a two-year warranty. Jamco gives a 30-day return policy, but I think Meanwhile gives a two-year warranty on these blocks. So this one ran me about $75 plus shipping. Uh, shipping is a little cheaper if you go directly to Jamco's website. Uh, otherwise, you can go to Amazon. In my case, I did do Amazon because I had a gift card that I needed to spend. So uh, <laughs> I spent like a couple more dollars extra on the shipping just to use the $50 gift card. Uh, but 75, 74, 75 has been the cheapest I've seen it, and I chose not to do any type of modifications to my boards or anything like that, and get the 13, 20 dollar power supply, uh, like a mini ATX power supply that I've seen made for it with 24 volt rails. I chose not to do that because I don't know. There's nothing wrong with this board. It doesn't have a bad voltage regulator or anything, regulator or anything. So I don't want to modify the board. And of course, if I don't have to, I'd rather just keep it completely stock and let it run the way it is. And this is actually the same company. Meanwhile, is the same company that currently makes the power supplies for the Replicator 2Xs. So I'm, I know I'm using the same quality of parts. And there's no chance of that power supply smoking because it came with cheap insulation or cheap parts or cheap capacitors or whatever the case may be and causing damage in the future. And if you're curious, by the way, this is a 10 amp fuse. I did pull this fuse out to check it and it's 10 amps. So 9.2 amps going in, 10 amps, it should pop if it goes anything higher. So I'm going to shut her down. And again, there is the safety release that you have to pull back on before you can unplug it to unclip it. There it goes. So power supply works. I'm happy. One thing at a time. And as I get more parts, I'll keep doing more videos. And eventually I'll have a video of the completed product at the end. Thanks for watching. Again, as always, leave comments below in the section. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you have something negative to say, go ahead and put it up. I don't care. I'm not going to watch them or respond to them anyway. Thanks.